Good morning, and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. It is a bright, beautiful, sunny morning, and I have a couple of containers that have been unplanted this year that I'm going to go ahead and go and dig up. So, yeah, might be time for a few extra carrots. So hold on, and I'll be right back. Okay, we are out here by, yes, those are the dedicated carrot beds there. It's all the newspaper that I had sitting on top of them that I've kept over here to reuse. Now we have had people have asked questions about putting carrots into containers. These are two big half barrels that we have cut and have used for several years, but haven't had anything planted in them this year. We never actually kind of decided what to put in here, but I'll show you. Now this soil is still good and soft, but you can see that they're full. So in order to get these prepped, to get some more carrots in here, I'm actually going to have to take some of that dirt out. I got my little shovel over there. I got my cart behind me. First thing I'm going to do is take uh, probably at least four or five inches of dirt off the top. And I have another bag of soil over here. So give me a minute and I'll get set up to get that done. Okay, now I've got yeah dirt on my face. Yeah, perfect. Um, now I've got the soil level brought down in here. Now we have used these barrels for years and they have wonderful dirt in them. But do you have to take a bunch off to put a few more amendments in here? But never fear that cart full of dirt. Yeah, we recycle dirt. We use every little bit. But the next thing I'm going to do... And I'll, I'll change the camera angle and show you a little bit better. I do have a big bag of garden soil down here. I have the vegetable and tomato and some bone meal. If I can get it turned around here, have some bone meal. I'm going to do just about the same as I did in the big raised bed. Except that um, I need to add a bit more nutrition to these barrels. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a layer of Job's in. Then I'm going to mix that into the soil a little bit. Then I'm going to put some of the vegetable soil on top and mix just a little bit more in. Now, like I said earlier, these beds haven't been used this year, but they are normally used every year. So, yeah, they just need a bit of nutrition. And I'm going to add that in kind of layer it a little bit and then I'm going to mix it in really good. So hold on and I'll be right back.
Okay, I've got some really good nutrition mixed in here. Really happy with it. Nice soft soil to a really good depth. Now I'm going to get my seeds in. I'm going to do these exactly the same way that I did the big bed. The only thing I'm going to do different is I'm going to put them in concentric circles only because these beds, these containers are round. So I'm only going to put them in about to my first knuckle and I'm going to put them about two finger widths apart. The only reason I'm doing a circle is because it's baked around. Hey, I'm going to come in about a couple of finger widths and go in again here. And one more time. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be about the last circle. And we just pop in a couple in the center. And I'm just going to lightly cover these. And I'm going to move on to the next one. Okay, get this one covered up. And the only other thing I'm going to do to these is go ahead and reuse the newspaper that I had on top of the other bed. Okay, that should be plenty. Now, I'm going to go over and get the hose turned on. Get these watered. Be right back. Give me just a second.
All right, these guys are good to go. I'm going to leave the paper on them and keep it wet for about three, four, five days and take it off just like I did on these. But I wanted to show you while I was out here, we have the very first tiny carrots just coming up in these two beds. And there's some in the other one. Bring it over and show you those. Yeah, little tiny new carrots. Okay, so that's all the footage that I have for today. It is really starting to get warm here again. Now the days are getting a little cooler, but not terribly by much. And oh yeah, I still got dirt in my face. Sorry. Um, yeah. Anyway, really glad to have extra carrots in. You can never have too much of a good thing. So really happy to get those in. And we did have quite a few questions about putting them in containers. So thought I would take the opportunity to be able to go ahead and just, you know, plant a few extra just in case. But carrots really are very, very easy to grow. Um, probably the best thing to do is make sure that they have plenty of soft soil. But I do need to get moving. And yeah, I think I need to get in and out of the heat for a little while. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I'm outside planting yet something else wonderful um if you have any comments questions suggestions anything at all in your mind please leave them in the little box below and if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and keep all of the good comments and questions and everything coming absolutely love answering your questions and having the feedback and the interaction with all of you wonderful people but yes do need to get out of the heat so I am going to go ahead and go, don't forget we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.